Hey everyone, I'm Steve from GamersNexus.net and we were at AMD's booth at CES 2016, primarily looking at the limited Polaris display right now, but there's some other cool stuff that we'll be talking about as well. Before getting to that, all of this content from CES 2016 is brought to you by iBuyPower's Revolt 2 small form factor gaming PC. Looking at Polaris, right now there's a limited sort of black box demo where Polaris is on my left, that'd be your right, and then there's a GTX 950 on the other side. What is being shown here is primarily the power draw, so you're looking at performance per watt, and right now both systems are locked to 60 FPS in Battlefront through the configuration. We asked if we could unlock it, but not right now. As far as the frame rate goes, it's meeting 60 on both cards, the 950 and the Polaris GPU, which is yet unnamed, a lot of specs still not out there, and the performance in terms of wattage is currently 73 on Polaris and 129 on the GTX 950 and then once the game's out of the menu and the actual gameplay we were seeing closer to 90 on Polaris and 140, 150 on the GTX 950. So that's really all we have for the actual demonstration. In terms of why this is happening it's primarily the move to FinFET. So there's a new process node for Polaris and that's 14 nanometer FinFET which is literally shaped like a fin. So the transistor kind of has walls on the sides and that helps prevent leakage and improve power efficiency. This is technology that's been around for a little while now. It's used in some Intel stuff, it's used elsewhere. So that's moved to FinFET. The other wattage improvement is from GCN. So there's a new GCN architecture versioning with Polaris. Again, not a ton of details right now, but on the CU side, on the GCN architecture side, that is supposed to be improved with performance per watt as well. And we'll move over to the Razer laptop next. That is actually connected to an external GPU. We've looked at these previously with Silverstone. I don't think that product ever shipped, but there was a Silverstone external GPU enclosure, and we've seen it with Alienware as well with proprietary connections instead of the USB type C. So we're going to look at that next and then check the article in the description below to read about some of the other stuff here like the HDR and SDR verses between displays. That's a pretty big deal that you should definitely read more about. So thank you for watching. Check the next video for the Razer laptop information and hit that Patreon link in the post video if you want to help us out. I'll see you all next time.